the case of the Lake Chad Basin Commission or LCBC, we have the unusual situation that LCBC consists of two operational arms. One arm presents the traditional technical water and environmental resource management tasks. The second arm of LCBC is a rather unusual one. The Commission holds the formal mandate to coordinate the cross-border military operation in the Lake Chad region, the Multinational Joint Task Force. Regarding the first arm, the technical resource management, mechanisms and tools to monitor and control water resources in the region are not fully operational in the Lake Chad region. This is, among others, due to a lack of political will and financial commitment of members states. Although some member states, such as Nigeria, have shown an interest in LCBC, they are advocating for big, visible infrastructure projects to address the challenges around Lake Chad, such as an interbasin water transfer from Congo River to Lake Chad. But to recharge the lake would not only come with high financial costs, political and environmental risks, it would also most likely do more harm than good. Many farmers depend on rain-fed agriculture or fluctuating lake levels to grow recession crops. Hence, to recharge the lake would not help the population but most likely undermine livelihoods further. A lesson learned we can draw from this is that in addition to political will, access to accurate scientific data is critical to inform policy decisions. If done correctly, this information can help build relationships across the region. If this data cannot be obtained, the wrong policy decisions may be made. The proposal to redirect water from the Congo River to Lake Chad illustrates this failure to capture the actual dynamics in the region. The Lake Chad Basin Commission occupies a central role in understanding the hydrological, biological and cultural resources available, but it will only be able to improve the situation in the region if it has sufficient data and information available. To provide more incentives for countries to work together, funding should be designed in a way it encourages cooperation of different national and regional regional actors and lays the foundation for longer-term development. To contribute to the SDGs in the region, the relevant issues for the Lake Chad Basin Commission, it could work on with support from international and private partners include the provision of more information on groundwater extraction and the mapping of groundwater availability in the region, as well as improved forecasting of water availability and effective ways of communicating forecasts so that communities can better anticipate extreme weather. Finally, all technical measures need to consider social factors such as conflict to prevent causing harm and to support the Lake Chad region to become the thriving hub it used to be.